Hello and welcome to another adventure of Bricks in the Wild. I'm Brickologist Carl coming to you from the Lego Den. This episode we are going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the classic space, Benny's spaceship, 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 and of course the new Galaxy Explorer. And I've got another set that I want to throw into the mix. Um, I know you've probably seen comparison videos of all three of these. Uh, we'll give a little history on um, how I uh, come into possession of these and a uh, little details on them. Okay, so let's start with our classic, which is 497 Galaxy Explorer. Came out in 1979. 338 pieces, four minifigures, and the cost uh, when it came out was $32. Um, I got this set uh, probably around Christmas time that year. Uh, bought a bunch of classic space. Unfortunately, I do not have the original box or the instructions. Hard to come by. Uh, very nice set, the way they uh, showed it on the box and the detail. But very cool. Um, I did a video on this earlier on how you um, put it together, uh, details underneath and all that. Um, Classic space. Love the Galaxy Explorer. Such an iconic vehicle. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, this was an extension where uh, it was brought out in the uh, the Lego movie. And of course, the iconic Mr. Benny. Benny for spacious, spacious, spacious. And what was cool is they kind of did a, a funny on him there uh, with his helmet. Uh, they intentionally made it cracked. Now the reason you're, you're asking is why do they make his helmet crack? Is because the original uh, classic space astronauts, spacemen, uh, that was something that happened with them. Um, if you took them off and they got in the, the bin or if they were on the ground, that little piece was so fragile that they cracked. Uh, so we have uh, three um, uh, um, minifigs in here. We've got two robots in the back. Uh, we've got the kitty cat here. And it comes with a little alien fighter to have an enemy. Uh, it comes with uh, him on there, a little black spaceship uh, with a very unique symbol, as you don't see. It's some kind of red and black planet with a ring on it, like Saturn or something. Um, so this is 70816. Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. Yep, that's what it's called. And I do have the box for that. Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. Okay, and if you haven't seen it, where we're coming from, uh, it comes from the Lego movie. Uh, Benny, that's all you want to do is get a um, get himself a spaceship. Uh, on what's cool about this set is it has uh, the spring-loaded. Uh, firing missile laser launchers right there. <clears throat> Playability on it's pretty cool. The um, that can go down, come up. Little robots can come out. Uh, it has two um, little mini fighters that uh, you can take off, and it has this function here where the wings can expand or retract, and it has two of those giant launchers. Uh, yellow ones there. So lots of firepower on this one. Uh, neat uh, idea how they made where the, the wings can expand on that. And like I said, in the front here you have um, three minifigs. And of course you just have the little the little push button missiles on here on the front. Uh, so Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship um, came out in 2014. 940 pieces, seven minifigures, and retail price on it was uh, $100. Very nice set. As you can see, if you compare it to Classic Space, we'll do a side-by-side -side here. But you can see it, quite an improvement. I'll put it up here. A little bit longer. Uh, a lot more... Uh, Play features with it, um, just a lot of details. Uh, you can kind of say this is probably like Benny's dream spaceship, what he just put together, just 
looks like a big stretch limo or just a big Cadillac or whatever. Just got all these extra details and functions and you know, it's got these little robots that, that lay in here. You take them out. Uh, kind of a unique feature on that. So it's got two of those on there. Um, just lots of detail on this. Put that back down for flight or whatever. You want to keep that up. Very cool set. Okay. So you can see lots of detail on that. And let's see. Where this was 928, Benny's spaceship is 929. Yeah, very cool. Comes with lots of stickers on here. Uh, some of these are actually uh, the iconic. Um, the kind of uh, planet with the spaceship going around it. Those are actually prints on those here. And there's some stickers here, stickers here. So it's some mix where the original uh, had print. Uh, this has a, a mixture of stickers on some of these pieces here. And of course, that one is it's not a sticker. Uh, latch. Just all kinds of cool detail on this one. Good uh, play features, uh, very spaceship looking, modern spaceship. Okay, so we've got our two here. Let's pull him a little bit back if we can. Try to get all three of them in here at the same time. Make sure he doesn't get out of the field here. And there's his little nemesis fighter, whatever that is. And then of course we're gonna come over to, oh, before we get into that, we wanna make sure we get into order here. I mean. The grand finale is the big, big boy there. But uh, in 2014 also, um, they came out with this cool set. And this was 21109, and it was the exosuit. Uh, 321 pieces, uh, has two minifig, and it sold for $35. And I believe this is the first time that actually uh, you had a female astronaut, and it also was green. And they used kind of, uh, it's kind of like a robot suit for the classic space. They used a lot of Technic pieces on this. And it comes with some little uh, rover turtle dude here. Um, but they actually gave them names here, where before they didn't give them names. So it's Pete and Ivy. And they spelled it. Pete, P-E-T-E, -E, and he looks kind of mean on the back here. And then, I think that's how you say your name, is, is Y-V-E. So is it Ivy, Y-V? I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. But it's part of the Lego Ideas, number seven. So a real nice addition to uh, the classic space theme um, with a little more uh, detail. Very cool. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the grand finale, and they incorporated some of the uh, classic space, uh, even with Benny's ship, they've included some stuff on here. If you notice the canopy, the big canopy on the front here it is the same canopy they used on um, the newer version of a 928 Galaxy Explorer Redo, I guess you would call that one. But just fabulous. So let's just get some um, ideas for what's going on with this one. So this is, and this is where it is, 10497, where the original was 497. So 10497, 1,254 pieces, Five minifigs, because you have four spaceships, which four spacemen, which were the original colors, which was red and white. And then they have a robot dude back here, and he's got some kind of survey cups or whatever. I don't know. Some people say he's serving them coffee space, you know, coffee in space. I don't know. But he's the fifth minifig. So he sits back here. And, of course, just like the regular... Um, classic Galaxy Explorer. Uh, it does have the feature where you do have a rover. Like I said, I'm sure you've seen the uh, 
other videos where it, it gives information about it. And of course it has this cool little ramp. So it has a little moon buggy in the back just like the classic. I'm going to compare what they look like. Let's take the other one apart. Oh, I don't have the moon buggy in here. <laughs> I didn't keep him in there. He must be on the moon base. So I left him on there. But as you can see, there's a little moon buggy there. And same feature where the engines split apart. The only difference is you don't have a um, little one by two here to keep them closed. They, they do that. Um, very cool. This uh, has retractable landing gear where the original does not. It just has um, these little pillar things. There's uh, five of them. And of course on the bottom they put three big launch uh, landing pads on here that retract. Um, the only thing that I didn't really like what they did with this is take a look at this one right here. So you've got these big giant rocket motors on the back here. You've got one, two, three, and four, and a couple um, directional boosters here. But they used the same ones on the bottom. So you had three giant ones there on the bottom. I don't know if they didn't want to incorporate them in there, but they used four big rocket motors on this. But then on the very bottom, they kind of just gave us a couple small radar dishes. I think they could have, you know, put those big rocket motors on them. I mean, look at those, look at those big giant booster motors. I think they could have fit those in there. So maybe somebody will mock it out and, and give it uh, that extra detail, put them on the bottom uh, to help boost, take it off. Because I mean, it, it's like a couple small, it's not even the big radar dishes. Those are the, the medium sized ones. So you lose a lot of um, detail under the bottom because uh, you fold up the landing gear. Let's see, fold it up there, tucks away. So it gets a real flat surface versus uh, this one. Uh, you've got different levels of how they build it, but you got the big rocket boosters under the bottom and the landing gear. So it doesn't retract, doesn't hide. It, it, it stays that way the entire time. That was the only thing that was really disappointed um, with this set is they did not match the bottom. Um, they really did a nice job uh, with the edges here, the, the technique they used to really smooth out the corners where here it's just um, a straight edge with studs on top. So they get really um, nice detail. Um, sort of a mixture of the old with bennies and then the new. Really like this. Um, so, uh, brand new for 22. So, 10497 Galaxy Explorer, 1,054 pieces, five minifigs, and it was $100. So, 2014 was $100, 2022, $100. And if you look at them, they are, I think the Explorer is the new Explorer. Maybe just a, a smidge bigger, but really compatible, uh, comparable in size. Uh, really great. Uh, you figure Benny's had 940 pieces, uh, 1,254 pieces. And where you get the extra pieces at or is really in these leading edges. There's just really a lot of uh, buildup. Uh, just in the different technique they used to make this also. So... 1979, 2014, 2022. Uh, who knows what we'll get in 10 years or so. But I do have the box for that one also. Beautiful, beautiful box. Uh, very well designed and it looks, um, like I said, I don't have the original box, but really made it look like um, 920 Eight from 1979 they gave it that retro box look um, you know use the yellow band galaxy Explorer on there uh, on the corner here it says uh, Lego 90 years of play shows a classic space helmet on there um, and the only thing that another thing they didn't come with and was probably because it would be too hard to make is this set you get the moon base with two uh, base plates, 
a little building. Um, this just came with the spaceship. So you have a lot more pieces on here, like I said, because it really, to build this up for this size, I mean, let's just put this up here. So it's almost twice as large. I mean, the weight is just, it, this thing is so, so heavy and dense. Um, there was lots of buildup on the plates for this, but just a lot of inner workings when you're putting this together. Uh, and they also added another section back here. Did the crew, it's an extra crew quarters back there with a the robot and they've got control panels. So this is like an extra section here. I uh, really need how they made this uh, sloped uh, without seeing any studs on top on there. The rocket motors come off. Uh, you've seen the, uh, the reviews on these. Really, really neat how it's made. Uh, like I said, I love the box. Really, really um, did a tribute to the classic. Really nice the way they, they brought this back. Uh, they, I know they've been talking for years that um, they were going to do tribute to the classic um, castle theme and classic space, which uh, they have done both. Uh, great. If they, you know, if they continue to do that, maybe they'll do that with the city. Um, I know they brought out a Vikings ship this year. Um, and, you know, maybe they'll do a Bionicle. Who knows? But really a great transition. Um, as you can see, classic space is not dead. It, some people are saying, well, you know, we're just moving on and uh, technique and, you know, the 18 plus sets. I don't think this is even, yep, it has it on her 18 years and up. So, I mean, like I said, 1979, I, I had this set uh, for Christmas and had the box and I wish I still did. Um, that's one of my uh, videos that I have out there is collecting the boxes and keep them and why you do that. Uh, Cause the value on it, um, you know, there's good value with the set by itself with all the pieces. Uh, but as you've watched my videos, what are my th four things that I have? The pieces, minifigures, instructions, stickers, and the box. And nine times out of ten, your stickers are already put on there with the newer sets. Uh, but these old ones did not have stickers, so we don't put, include that in there. Um, they did a real good job here is they did not use stickers also where Benny's they just had stickers all over the place here it, it's print print and one thing that people showed is you got the little directional arrow on the back here which was a print on them a block uh, they actually built the uh, the arrow into somebody did a real good job uh, real neat if you've seen how they built that up uh, they got the little containers on the side, the little luggage containers where on the original was um, like a little side one here. Then you open up a little, put some tools or something in here. And Benny's spaceship has just got storage all over the place. So really nice to see Lego step up, uh, bring this classic, make it modern, uh, make it fun for people and at a great price. I mean, they could have, you know, they could have added a base plate or two, uh, people are making them, but um, they could have, you know, added another $50 and they could have made some kind of base plate and you build it or up like that. I don't know. Um, I'm just happy with the ship the way it is, the detail. So here we go. One, two, and three. Classic space. What more can I say? Very happy, very pleased. If you have a chance to, to get this and or a chance to get this or get this, by all means, get your hands on it. it, it it's very cool. The yellow canopies are cool. Uh, the little mini figs are cool. The little astronauts are cool. And they're using still the steering wheels in here, which they do in the original. I don't think, did they do that in Benny's spaceship? No, they did not use a steering wheel. He just has like some instrumentation in there. Okay, so let me do my final here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up.
I do appreciate that. Questions or comments, leave that in the question or comment section below. I answer any and all questions. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you're not, please hit that subscription button. I like to see my numbers go up. And please share this with other LEGO members, family or friends. Uh, classic space. Way to go. Lego, I'll give you two thumbs up on that. All right. Well, from the classic space table, we're going to put these sets away. Carl from Bricks in the Wild, your brickologist, Lego brickologist, saying Lego from the past is saving Lego for the future. Okay. And until next time, keep building. Thanks.